Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Uh, of course, my name's Kent, and we are talking about the blockchain tonight, as we usually talk about the blockchain. However, I like to look at other things going on in the world. I like to look at politics a little bit, because it all plays a role in how cryptocurrency is affected by other, other out, outside influences, as far as regulations are concerned, as far as the economy is concerned. So it kind of all plays a big picture, and that's why I would say that you need to listen to everybody because everybody has an opinion on certain things. Some people have more of a perspective on it from technical side, other people have more of a perspective on it from a trader side, and then some other people have just a lot of life experience. And I would consider myself one of the people that just has a lot of life experience because I think I'm a little bit older than a lot of people in this space. So. Um, that's what I kind of like to look at, and that's what I was going to talk a little bit about tonight. Because obviously, crypto market isn't doing the greatest right now, but a very temporary time, I think, with crypto because everything points to cryptocurrency being the, the technology of the future. The more content on the blockchain, the more viable the blockchain. I'm, I know a lot of YouTubers, a lot of big YouTubers, since my daughter's a YouTuber. And we're in we're in Los Angeles quite a bit, and uh, she she's uh, she goes to parties, birthday parties, and uh, knows a lot of the big YouTubers. I don't know if the people that watch my channel will be watching these YouTube channels, but these are some of the biggest YouTubers on on YouTube, and they will do almost anything on a daily basis to create content. And the crazier the content, the more they enjoy the content, or the more the viewers enjoy the content. Content is king. I mean, they will do some of the craziest things. They will wreck a car. They will, you know, do anything you can imagine. Uh, and sometimes some pretty expensive tr uh, uh, pranks to make some content to get viewers because they know the content creation, the content creators, the bigger the better, the more they get, the more views they get, and of course, the more money they make, and that's what it is. It's about the content. That's what the blockchain's all about. It's about the content. It's all about a server. In fact, I was talking to a developer to about, about this tonight. We were changing over some stuff on the server. We were talking about the server stuff. So the server is where everything is stored. That is the future, the storage of where everything is. You know, the more you store on the, on the blockchain, the more valuable the blockchain becomes. The more you put the food chain on the blockchain, the more you put um, the, the legal, pro, uh, um, legal cases or legal, um, the, uh, the, uh, the precedents, on the blockchain. The more things you put on the blockchain, the more the blockchain has um, content, the more content it has, the more valuable it becomes, and that's what's going on right now. So that is that it just continually grows as time goes on. Of course, the more applications are running, more applications are built, and we're getting close on the challenge. In fact, that's what we were working on tonight. Um, Challenge-dap.io website is not we took the SSL off because we're going to move it to another server. And that's what we're actually working on tonight. So if you go to that site right now, you're going to see it's a not secure site, but it is secure. We just let the SSL expire because we're moving over to, actually we're moving it to Amazon from GoDaddy. So that's what that's all about. Um, the other thing I'd like to talk a little bit tonight is I was watching um, uh, a little bit about the news and the stock market went up today because Trump is, 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 saying that he's not going to impose any more tariffs on China. However, he's not taking any away anymore, and there are some talks. So just nothing vague, nothing specific, very vague, and we're going to have some talks so the stock market goes up. That's how desperate the stock market is right now, to find something to go up on. Some vague uh, India, in, 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 what's the word? I always have a word I can't say. Innuendo about maybe some talks between the Chinese and U.S. government as far as trade, trade wars are concerned. Uh, I'll guarantee you, with people like John Bolton around, you're never going to see anything but trade wars. You're never going to see anything but constant conflict with other countries. That just makes the blockchain all the more valuable because the, 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 the people like that, they don't like things running smoothly. They like things running very um, chaotically. I mean, I think that... I think in Donald Trump's mind, more chaotic the better because that's a that's a con content creator in its in itself. Uh, it's it's negative content, but he loves it. I mean, the more more he can create conflict, and the more content he creates, a bad that it says stuff that is uh, um, where people find it uh, 
offensive or people find it uh, um, um, conflict, I think he likes that. I think he gets a content creator. So in that way, that he's a content creator and in a way I think it's really helped him out to be that kind of a content creator. But the trade wars are never to go away. This is never going away. This has been started and this is kind of like the endless conflict that will always be there. This idea that one one country will never be given a fair shake with another country as far as trade is concerned. There's something else that's gonna to have to come into the, uh, the bigger picture to take that whole idea and concept away of a trade war. Because trade wars, uh, as long as you have national uh, boundaries and barriers and tariffs and ideas that countries, one country is doing better than the other as far as trade are concerned, that's never going away. That's why we need the blockchain. The other thing is interest rates. They don't know what to do with interest rates. Uh, I mean, if the economy is doing well, if the trade wars are bringing in such a great amount of money for the country and um, it's all going to, uh, to Main Street business, then I guess uh, interest rates should be going up because the cost of borrowing is going up because everybody wants to borrow because they want to, they want to reinvest profits. Well, that's not happening because there are no profits to reinvest and nobody's borrowing because nobody's making any money. So the idea of interest rates going up, I think, is, is, is a, a pretty far out idea too, which means the economy is pretty slow. So not only is the blockchain a little bit slow right now, but the blockchain will stay slow. The economy in general is very, very slow right now, as is indicated with stock market just going up on innuendo news and by vague news of, a, of, a, of, of some sort of talk, not even any kind of deal or any kind of even, yeah, any, any kind of, um, really any kind of a, a planned talk. It's just supposed to be, they're supposed to be together somewhere in this, I think it's a G20, and maybe somehow they get together and talk a little bit. I don't know if they talk or not, or if they just look at each other and stare at each other and kind of grin and smile and everybody thinks stock market should go bit up because of that. I don't know, that seems to be what's going on. And interest rates won't go up, they're going down. They probably won't raise them. They haven't been raised since I was um, a middle-aged man, I think. That was the last time we had interest rates that they were raised at all. I think that's been like their their go-to thing. We'll just keep interest rates low. We can't get the economy to move. We can't get anybody to. We can't get anything going. So we'll just keep interest rates low. That's uh, that's been a, that's been a kind of a worn-out trick for a long, long time. So anyway, that's the bigger picture. But I think this will all change because we have a new economy coming. We we're going to install the blockchain in the world with the server and information and content that will make the, the, the world an easier world to trade in, an easier place to be in, and an easier place to use uh, content and have content available for everybody to use. So anyway, that's the future. And then like, a, then I, like tonight, that's what we have to talk about. We have to talk about the bigger picture because uh, the smaller everyday event th things that we've been talking about, some days you don't have those to talk about. So on days like today, we talk about the overall big picture, which is very positive. And I think uh, when you look at everything else going on in the world, how can you not be positive about cryptocurrencies? Yes, I appreciate you, appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.